In this Google Shorts, we're going to go over freezing cells and columns in Google Sheets. What does freezing cells and columns in Google Sheets mean? Let's say you have a really long piece of data like we have here. Um, sometimes you want to keep the header or the sidebar intact so you can refer to it as you're scrolling down or across the sheet. Now, there's a number of ways of doing this. Let's start with the uh, basic way by going through the menu. First, we go to View. And you can see freeze here, and we can see no rows, one row, two row. Let's have a look. So for us, let's go two rows down. That'll grab our title and our header columns. So let's go to view, freeze, two rows down, bang. So now if I scroll down, you can see it's all been locked in. This means these two rows have been frozen in place. Okay, so we can go to freeze again and take it off by going no rows. If I wanted to say freeze uh, column A and B, so we keep the ID and the, and the chemical item then um, we can do the same thing again and go to freeze and uh, this one will be two columns again so click and done so now if we go across I'm going to just uh, grab this right here you can see it go across this is if you've got a long column set of data this is incredibly helpful let's go back and do that freeze and no columns back to normal okay so for me, an even easier way of freezing columns is these two bars here. See these really thick bars up in the top left of the spreadsheet? Well, you can drag them across to fit whatever column you like. So maybe I can do this to get my columns frozen. And then I want to get these two rows frozen and I'm done. Look at that. Okay, so now I can go down and maintain the rows. And I can go this way and maintain the columns that I want to keep. And you can just drag them back to here when you don't want to use them anymore or you want to make a change. Okay, so you may be wondering why there's this freezing point at point one title is way over to column C. So, for example, if I put this over here and I'll hit paste and then if I hit merge, oh, yep, yeah, that's okay. And now if I try and freeze this column, it's going to yell at me. Oh, there was a problem. Sorry, you can't freeze columns which contain only part of a merged cell. Try to break apart the merged cells or freeze more columns to include the complete merged cell. So keep that in mind when you're trying to build your frozen columns and incorporate your titles and headers. So I'll hit Control Z and I'll delete this one. Okay, so now to compensate for that, I'll move this over to here where I want to freeze the two columns and I want to freeze these two rows. And now if I hold down shift and click across to E1 and hit merge, it's not going to yell at me. So I've still got my title there. It's good to go. It's, yeah, maybe it not, it's not centered, but at least the freezing works. Okay, that's it for freeze. See you in the next tutorial.